back to a different outcome, or was this just, or was this sort of what y'all were expecting? Uh, I guess we were always holding out a little bit of hope that uh, that the case that we presented to the appeals committee would would result in a little different outcome. Um, but uh, to be honest, when we left, you know, we were prepared. You know, we've we've been prepared since the original uh, case report came out. To, we knew exactly what was in front of us and what the penalties were. So it's um, in a sense we're a little surprised and disappointed obviously in the result but uh, obviously we're ready to to move forward and and uh, continue with what we're building on right now in the current program when you uh, had a chance to appeal um, what was your pitch what what, what tack did you take uh, I mean really the the two points uh, that that we outlined in in the release that you have in front of you you know we we really just felt there was a big discrepancy in um, in whether those violations were truly secondary in nature, as we felt they were, or uh, major infractions, as the committee um, put before them. Uh, you know, the fact that our coaches, you know, feel for the coaches involved because they weren't given the opportunity at any point to uh, be in front of either committee uh, to voice their side, and so that was really one of the. Uh, kind of the exceptions we took to to this whole thing from the get-go and then the other uh, obviously being some case precedent uh, that we put before the committees that, that had very similar situations and, and infractions but were viewed as secondary in those cases and not weighted the same in ours. Did they give you a reason why the coaches weren't allowed to appear on the committee? Um, that was never really discussed. I mean they they said they felt they had enough in the different conversations that they had with other people um, and a couple of other interviews. But you know, one of the coaches mentioned in the case was not even interviewed, period, about the allegations that were brought forth. You know, with with his name tied to it. So um, you know, no, there wasn't any really valid reason given to us as to why they were not given or afforded that opportunity. the records obviously disappointed that those um, kind of get washed away I mean that's yeah it's disappointing um, you know but at this at the same time I feel I feel most of all for uh, those student athletes um, and you know for coach Thompson to have to go through that at the end of the day though when you sit back and you look at how's that going to impact what we do moving forward I think our coaches are Resolved that uh, you know we can continue to build on the success we've had here, and we're going to continue to build on that success. That's not a uh, the vacation of those penalties does not impact the current competitiveness of our programs or the future health of our programs. And you know we're we've dealt with that. We we understand that, and we're just ready to move forward and uh, ensure that we have the quality programs in place that uh, that we're known for you know throughout the country. Do you think this impacts you down the road in almost no way, shape, form, except for the records? Uh, at the end of the day, yes. I mean, it, it hurts. You know, you obviously love to have those uh, accolades and things to tout, but uh, at, you know, at the end of the day, the people who were at those games, they remember those performances. Um, for those of us who are on the staff, we remember the outcomes of those games, um, the fact that they're not going to be on paper. Um, it doesn't impact the health of the program in any shape or form. Does this take away all statistics from those games? No, just the just, 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 the, two just the wins and just the uh, records of the two athletes. What about, I mean, we all sort of know who those athletes are. Are we ever going to officially name them or how, how does that handle them? Those will not be named. They were not named in the report and uh, at this time we're not going to name the individuals that were a part of this case. How about if we look at um, future records and compare the past records and do the math? You guys can do whatever you need to do. <laughs> what steps has the university taken to enforce the sanctions they placed upon themselves? I mean, we've, we've been enforcing those since day one. The only thing we've we've held back on are the, uh, the actual vacation and uh, the way that we deal with that in our media guides and other you know other displays that we have out there that state those um, 
So, I mean, we're, the thing is, we're, we are well down the road, in some instances over a year into the penalties that were outlined, and I'm very confident in the uh, systems we have in place and the things that we continue to tweak and adjust to help us have a compliant program. And, uh, you know, we, we are definitely in a better place as, as a result of going through this and feel that, uh, that we are in a great position to move forward and continue to be successful and to do that within NCAA rules. How are you addressing this news like with the, you know, the current team? Are you going to talk about it in any or just, you know, how do you address, how do you address this? I mean, everybody's well aware um, over the last 18 months, the press that this has gotten. I mean, so people, uh, the general public, our members of this team, I mean, they all know what's going on. Um, so there's really not a need for us to um, pull everybody together. And, and I mean, this is information that we've all had in our hands for months now. And uh, we just know the outcome. And the thing is, on the current team, it really doesn't impact anybody there. Um, uh, as far as what they're doing this season or next season or in future seasons, it's tied to the 2007 year. So, the NCAA rule that the two coaches had intentional violation of the rules are uh, kind of that flat out. Um, I mean, obviously, that's one of the the discrepancies we have. I mean, we felt. Uh, that those weren't intentional. Uh, we also felt the fact that one of the coaches was never interviewed for the the information or for his part in these allegations. It's hard to say that you can say he intentionally did it if you never talked to him. And uh, that's one of the, the things we continue to hold firm to. Unfortunately, the infractions committee and the appeals committee did not see it that way, and we move on. Was it just uh, one of the coaches that was not interviewed by the committee, or uh, were there other coaches who were involved who were, or other people involved who were interviewed by the committee? Was it just this one specific coach who was not interviewed? Of the two coaches that were mentioned in the allegations, one was not even interviewed regarding these particular allegations. Uh, has the NCAA given any reason as to why one was interviewed over the other? No. Are there any legal remedies? Uh, or is it even worth it from the university standpoint to pursue if you feel like due process wasn't taken? I mean, from an NCAA standpoint, this is it. I mean, there are no more, no more avenues to go down to uh, to deal with this matter. And and to be honest, I mean, uh, it, from a just from a financial standpoint, and the, at this point, it's not. It, I don't see much benefit or how that benefit would outweigh. Us just trying to close the book and move on. So, is that kind of obviously what you're just ready to do is just have it be over and, and, and wash your hands of it all together? We were at that point months ago. Um, so, it's, uh, you know, that, 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 that's again, I'll just reiterate kind of what our conversation was the last time we sat in this room. Uh, you know, the hard part of this was the 18 months before you guys ever found out. And, and so we've, uh, you know, we've, we've been down the road, we've known what's coming, we've already put things in place. And so really this is just kind of the, trying to bring everybody up to speed and, and provide as much information to fill in some of the gaps that people on the outside may not know about. And uh, so we're well down that road already.